Welcome to part one of a series where I'm going to show you how to get from this to that. Washing part of a dirty fleece. I am going to show you how to get from this to this. But it starts off with a whole bunch of red dirt. Part one, I take these locks, so just a handful of this fleece, covered in dirt, lanolin grease, and I'm gonna put it in some cold water. Plain cold water. I just use a bucket or a bin because I don't want this water going down my drain. And look at all that coming off already. I'll soak it here to get a little bit off and then it'll soak overnight in cold water. After just 10 minutes in a cold water soak, that is how much dirt has come off. Now, don't throw this down your sink. This is garden gold. I have an herb garden out back that loves this part of the washing process. And then my rabbits love it because they get herbs like parsley that they just love all summer long. All right. Squeeze the water out and back in the cold water rinse. Now it'll soak so in this, this overnight. Soaked overnight. And you can see it's revealing some of the areas that have some VM in it. So we'll pick those big bits out. There's a stick that was in there. We'll get those, again, just get those bits that are easily pulled out. Don't want to pull too much on this fleece yet, but we'll get the water out of it. My vegetable herb garden will love this water. And this is ready for the next step now, which is adding the wool shampoo and scouring it to get the rest of this all cleaned up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill my pot with hot water from the Unicorn top Power Scour the into these locks. And it's gonna set and kind of just bubble for about 10, 15 minutes before I put it in the hot water bath and on the stove for the scouring process. I use Unicorn Power Scour. I also use Namaste Farm products, Dirty Rotten Bastard and Wash and Die Bastard. So I know that this fleece is going to take more than one wash. So I'm going to start with the Unicorn Power Scour. And because I'm going to dye these locks, I am also going to use Namaste Farm's Wash and Die Bastard because it acts as kind of a conditioner and helps take up that dye really nice. So I'm just going to squirt some on here. Pick it up and I'm gonna work that soap into these locks just like if I were washing my own hair. I'm gonna work that soap in. These locks have been sitting, um, just kind of soaking and taking up that wool shampoo. And now they are ready to go into the hot water bath. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Unicorn Power Scour. It's not too hot yet, so I'm gonna mix that around. These locks have already got the Power Scour on them, and they are just gonna go directly into the pot. Now, you're not gonna have many felting issues when you take cold water locks into hot water. It's when you do hot to cold that you most likely will have felting issues. So we'll just get these all nice and in here, there we go. And as this water gets hotter, I have a spoon and some tongs that are dedicated to wool only that I will use for the rest of the process. We're going to get this first scour wash off. That got the majority of the lanolin out. I have my hot water running. So we're gonna fill the pan back up. and get it back on the stove for the wash and dye process. I'm going to be using the wash and dye by Namaste Farms. 
And I have a very hot, hot water heater. So we're gonna add the wash and dye. I'm gonna put the hot locks into the hot water and get them right back on the stove. All right, so I have the locks back on the stove, getting, they're very, very hot. But as you can see, my scouring process got out all the dirt and most all the lanolin. The wash and dye from Namaste Farms is what I have in here now. And it kind of acts as a conditioner and helps the locks take up the dye a little bit better. I am choosing to dye these green for St. Patty's Day today. And so the staining, because this was an older fleece and it just came from a red dirt area and there just was some staining, some yellowing, perfectly normal for some of these long locks. But that's why I'm choosing to dye them so that you would never know. And they'll be beautiful cold water and cold vinegar into my dye pot. So I'm just going to take some of this already hot water. I'm choosing to use a shamrock by Procan today in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Now it doesn't take very much. I'm just going to add a little bit of the dye powder and then a splash of the vinegar, which is the acid for the acid dyeing process. It's just a very low acid. Doesn't take very much, just a little splash. I will mix this around. And then I'm gonna add my dye to the dye pot. taking up the dye. Needs to heat up just a little bit more and then set. And because all of the lanolin is now out of these locks, I can let it cool off in the pan. Letting the water cool off before the lanolin is out makes the lanolin re-adhere to the locks. And that's not a good thing. You don't want that to happen. These locks are gonna be gorgeous. They'll have like little gold tips, which will be a very beautiful fade lock in these locks. Kind of like this gold at the end of the green rainbow. Now. And it's pretty well cooled off. There is a little bit of residual dye in here and I won't waste that. What I'll do is I'll add a little bit more vinegar and I will dye up. It looks like what's left is kind of like a teal blue color and that'll look very very nice on like some mohair or some fine wool locks and soak the rest of that residual dye up but these locks are looking great now it's time to rinse them and do a little tiny wash to get the vinegar out then they're all set to be dried but look at that amazing color already so we are going to rinse the wash and dye from Namaste Farms, the conditioner soap, out of these locks gently. Now we are going to fill the sink up just a little bit. And I like to use a little bit of lemon dish, dish soap. It just helps get that vinegar smell out and freshens up the locks a little bit. I don't leave the locks in very long because it is Dawn dish soap and it's a little harsh so I don't, I don't like to leave it in that long but just enough to get the vinegar smell out. So I'm filling up the sink here with some cold water because the locks have cooled off and I've rinsed the soap out of them but it still has a bit of a vinegar smell to it. So I like to use a little uh, lemon Dawn dish soap. And what this does is just a tiny little bit and I don't leave the locks in very long. And I gently just swirl them around. This is gonna get any residual dye that's kind of hanging out in the wet locks off. And you can see the water is not turning green, which means I have full saturation and I don't have a lot of 
the dye leaching out of the locks, which is perfect and exactly what I want to happen. We have the locks here. After they came out of the very short Dawn de Soap bath to get the vinegar smell out. It doesn't take a lot of water, but I just want to make sure to get all the soap out before I put it in my salad spinner to get all of the water out for drying. I have a dedicated wool salad spinner. So I'll just put the locks in there, get the lid on tight. And now they're ready to just set out and dry.